In this video, I will tell you everything we know so far about the upcoming AMD Ryzen 7000 series desktop processors based on Zen 4 micro architecture. That includes specifications, performance, release date and prices. Ryzen 7000 series will compete versus Intel 13th gen CPUs that are due to launch later this year. So I also prepared a performance comparison based on leaked estimates to give you a glimpse of what the competition in gaming might look like between the two. Before that, get secure and private access to the internet with NordVPN on all your devices. It provides an encrypted tunnel for your online traffic to flow, so nobody can get their hands on your data, real IP address and location. Securely access personal information or work files and keep your browsing history and online identity private. Get one month free as well as a massive discount on a two-year plan at the link in the description below. Let's start with Ryzen 7000 series specifications. Along with the new processors, AMD will introduce the new AM5 socket. It will be used for several future generations of Ryzen processors, so it should get a life cycle similar to AM4 of about 4 to 5 years. The current AM4 CPU coolers will be compatible with AM5 platform, so if you plan to upgrade your existing Ryzen PC, then you can reuse the cooler. To improve performance while maintaining the industry-leading power efficiency, AMD is moving its manufacturing from TSMC 7 nanometers to 5 nanometers. And of course, we will see all the latest technology standards adopted. That includes DDR5 memory and PCIe 5.0, which doubles the speed versus PCIe 4.0 that was introduced not so long ago. This paves the way for even faster RAM, SSDs and graphics cards that will be introduced over the next few years. The core count configuration of Ryzen 7000 processors will remain the same as the current 5000 series and will look like this. Ryzen 5 7600X with 6 cores and 12 threads at 65W TDP. Ryzen 7 7800X, 8 cores and 16 threads at 105 watts TDP. Ryzen 9 7900X, 12 cores and 24 threads at 105 watts TDP. And the flagship Ryzen 9 7950X with 16 cores and 32 threads at 170 watt TDP. It is important to point out that Zen 4 is not just an update over Zen 3. It is yet another massive architectural improvement over the current Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs. Additionally, for the first time, AMD will break the 5 GHz barrier on its Ryzen CPU cores. Dr. Lisa Su already demonstrated a Ryzen 7000 processor running a game with all cores at 5 GHz. So, I expect to see the final version of Ryzen 9 7950X running at 5 to 5.1 GHz on all cores and 5.3 to 5.5 GHz maximum boost. For comparison, the current flagship Ryzen 9 5950X does just 4.4 GHz all core boost and 4.9 GHz maximum boost. That is a big improvement that will translate into a much better performance in games as well as professional apps. I should mention that it looks like AMD will not use its new trump card technology called 3 dv Cache in these new processes. Still, it leaves an opportunity for the company to launch a special edition line of products later if the competition calls for it. Just like they did with Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. Now about the release date. According to the latest leak, AMD is getting ready to start a mass production of Ryzen 7000 series in about a month, that is April, May 2022, which means the products should be ready to launch in late quarter 3 or early quarter 4 2022. As for the price, it is too early for this kind of leaks. However, looking at the latest trends, I expect to see prices similar to those we have already seen when Ryzen 5000 series first launched. That is $299 for a 6-core Ryzen 5 7600X, $449 for an 8-core 7800X, $549 for a 12-core 7900X, and $799 for a 16-core 7950X. 
This could change depending on the competition with Intel, but looking at the latest performance estimation leaks, it does look like Ryzen 7000 series performance will be sufficient to justify such prices versus Intel 12th gen as well as the upcoming Intel 13th gen. Most leakers agree that Zen 4 will have more than 20% IPC increase over Zen 3. Don't forget about additional performance gains thanks to a massive core clock speed increase and larger cache. Considering that, I estimate that Ryzen 7000 will be up to 40% better than Ryzen 5000. Which brings us to the last part of this video. Let's have a look at several possible Ryzen 7000 series versus Intel 13th gen gaming performance scenarios. I created 5 different scenarios to show you how the next generation of processors may stack up against each other. FYI, Ryzen 7 5800X 3D is in the charts, but the data is based on benchmarks conducted by AMD, as we still don't have any independent tests of this CPU. The first scenario is if Intel 13th gen CPUs turn out very well with 17% improvement and AMD processors are on the lower side of the expectations with 20% improvement. In this case, they will be equal. Yes, surprisingly, the worst-case scenario for AMD means that it will still be extremely competitive. The next scenario represents the worst case for Intel if it manages to get just 10% improvement, and if AMD gets 35%. That is without the use of 3D vCache, which can bump up this figure even higher. Still, Intel would be absolutely destroyed in gaming with Ryzen 7000 leading by almost 20%. The third scenario is equalized. Both AMD and Intel managed to do quite well, but far from the best case scenario. In this case, AMD would win by almost 10%, which is close to an entire generation worth of performance improvements. If both manage to improve by a bare minimum of what is expected from them, then AMD would still end up on the top, leading by around 6%. Although I think that this scenario is unlikely, as I expect both products to be much better than this. If both companies deliver exceptional products, with 20% improvement by Intel and 40% improvement by AMD, then it would look like this, with AMD leading by almost 14%. I don't know how Intel would market its CPUs to gamers if that happens. I guess it is a good thing that Intel 14th gen is expected to launch less than a year after 13th gen, so it will not be that long before Intel catches up. As a bonus, I created the scenario where AMD manages to get just 20% improvement, but also adds 3D vCache to its processors. Basically, that would allow AMD to achieve the best case scenario against Intel without having massive architectural improvements. And here is what could happen if Intel 13th gen does very well with 17% improvement and AMD goes crazy with 40% improvement as well as adding 3D vCache on top of that. Absolute madness. I have no idea how Intel would ever recover from this in the next couple of generations, as there would be a 28% gap in performance between the competitors. Do you think this is just crazy talk or am I onto something here? Join me in the conversation in the comments below. Also, like the video if you enjoyed it. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.